Hey everyone. Hi guys. It's Bentley. And Joe. And Lynette. <laughs> we're strong, not filtered. We, we are. are. I know. And we're getting tons of kisses tonight. <laughs> we are live Jojo McCormick. So I'm going to let you do your thing while I get you dialed in over here on the right. And we will get started tonight. Ooh, I feel like I'm going to have technical difficulties already tonight. My stand, you guys, it doesn't work here at my location. I need to find another one. If you have any suggestions, feel free to drop them below. I'm Johanna McCormick. That's Lynette Bickle over there doing all the behind the scenes stuff. We are Strong Not Filtered. Two girls that have never met in person, but definitely talk on the regular. Like five times a day. <laughs> uh, right? Yeah, for sure. Oh, this is going to be a pain, Lynette. Let me know when you're set up because i got to fix my camera. I am not. I'm scared to let this go, you guys. You should see how I have this rigged. It's not even funny. I got like a scissors and pencils holding some things together. This is gonna be interesting. For sure. Um, We have lots of topics. There is so much going on right now, it's not even funny. Like, I just kept sending topic after topic after topic. She's like, are you done yet? See my camera. No, so I'm not. I'm still oh, no. working on it. I was talking about you asking me if I was done sending topics today. Oh. <laughs> you were like, stop, no more. Okay, I'm all dialed in on my end, so you feel free to make sure you don't cut yourself tonight. No guarantees. No? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me right, bring this down a little bit so I can sit back. I'm going to let you talk for a second when I figure this out real quick. Okay, well, you guys, we have a lot of things in store for you tonight. We're Strong Not Filter. We are two girls that have never met in person. We've only talked online, and we've really gotten to know each other, and we are really excited about tonight's lineup. Hi, Kathy Noonan. Um, we are going to do some things. I'm probably going to be pretty transparent because as the week leads up to my surgery in just a few days, I am parting with some of my insides and I'm so like nervous about it, but then I'm not nervous about it. And then I was having a conversation with my dad today and he kept on talking about like, well, so-and-so was only 24 years old and she was a runner and all of a sudden she had lung cancer and died and so-and-so was doing great and they just went to the doctor and then they died. And I was like, dad, not You're helping not. the case. Like I was doing fine until I talked to you. Like, what are you trying to do here? Like, yeah. Silly goofball. Period. So I think it's amazing that you can like be doing fine in life. And they're like, yep, you just don't need that part. We're going to take that one and part of that one. And it's going to grow back and you're going to be just fine. What? What? Wait, what? So yeah, so we are strong that filtered. Um, I love my shirt. Just want you guys to see this shirt today. It says you are enough. Own it. You are enough. So hey, ladies, own it. A Freaking men, you are enough, own it. This is my slogan. You are enough, own it. Period. Point blank, end of subject, every itty bitty flaw, nook, cranny, inconsistency. Every little thing that's right, that's wrong, that's different, that's indifferent, that's just perfectly imperfect about you, own every ounce of it because that is who you are. Hi, <laughs> Tina. Hello, Lisa. And hello, Kathy. So make sure you share. We have a water bottle today that Joe is going to show you. She is rocking the gifts today. Yeah, sorry. I'm, like, trying to get prepped because you know us. Like, we're never – we're not going to be on time for our funeral, friend. Like, I just know it. You would think we've been doing this show for almost a year, and you think that by Thursday night at 9.30 we'd be ready? No. Not happening. So this is a vacuum bottle. I don't know anything about it. I don't know what it does. And then she's got this fancy schmancy organic Texas soap. So she's going to have to tell you about that because I don't even know what it is. But she said it smells fabulous, and it's amazing, and it came from Texas, and it came in a cute little box. Isn't it so cute? 
Yeah. Um, Would you like me to keep names for you, girlfriend? Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Soap is made oh. in the U.S. Um, and it is organic and natural. Comes in this super cute box. I'm just going to pop it real quick. See the soap right inside. It's a lemon grass. It smells so good. I wish I love bar soap, but I don't. And I get a You don't use bar soap? No. Mm -mm, no. I guess it's all mushy and, and no. Mm -mm, no. Really? Yeah. And people yeah, I don't have a problem. People give me a ton of like organic homemade soaps and you think is like hippie or greeny. I am, you know, I would love that stuff, but I don't. Okay. So this is a vacuum seal the bottle. It's 17 ounces. It's double walled. Um, it is food grade stainless steel. Um, it'll say hot for 12 hours cold for 24 and it's, PBA free, meaning no cancer stuff is going to leak into your fluids. If you use plastic and it's not PBA free, you run that risk of toxins. Okay. As I drink right. my water bottle. And so you're going to get some fancy soap and you're going to be able to drink out of a bottle and not be poisoned. And that is huge. Mm -hmm. And if you're just joining us, Thank you for joining us. We are Strong Not Filtered. We've got so many fun topics. Uh, again, two people never met, but we love to share. We've got some fun stuff on our agenda. Now, y'all know I love to do some crazy things. Now, you remember when we did some eyelashes? Oh we've my done. God, yes. Yeah, you remember that we did eyelashes in the nose? We love to do product reviews, and I'm really, really excited about some product reviews tonight. And you know these get a little bit funny because we don't ever pre-test these. We do these live with you. And I'm excited tonight to try the perfect bun. And I'm excited about this because I went to this, um, this event and I'm telling you what, this girl was talking, she was professional, she was like a mayor and then she was also like the secretary of the state and they like gave her resume and it was uh, like 20 million miles long and she was like, she shot people, she was in the military, she, she had this really extensive resume and it was very impressive. Paige or Silla, and, yeah. And then, yeah, they wanted to say like, do you have any questions? And the whole time I was like, how did you get that perfect bun in your hair? Because I just could not stop looking at it. I'm dying. So then I did what most people nope. do. I Googled up perfect buns and I found that they have this perfect bun thing um, at Walmart. So I went to the local Walmart and I was like, I need this perfect bun. Now I'm going to show you this perfect bun thing because I got to tell you, I'm quite impressed with it. So please hold while I pull up this picture because I'm like, I can go to Walmart. Walmart has everything on the shelf because they just do, right? They always have everything on the shelf. So I went to the Walmart and, oh, let me see. Let me find it. Please hold. Please hold. Oh, please hold. I got to find it. I feel like I'm looking all crazy. Oh, I just want some water bottle. Sorry, no water bottles tonight, folks. It fell over. No, I'm just kidding. Pick it up. So here we go. This is the messy bun. And it looks like something that you would wash your stove with. I'm going to bring it in. Oh, oh, over here. Oh, here we go. Looks like a donut, maybe. And you have it for brunettes, dark hair, and blonde. Well, you know where that, like, originates from. It's a sock. People used to fill a sock up, and that's really what it looks for, looks like. And that's how they made the sock bun. That's what that is. Well, her hair looks absolutely perfect. And so I went into Walmart to find this. Little did I pay attention to the fact that it said online only. So... I stood there for 20 minutes like, hmm, how did I do that? Because remember, if you watch me go over my reveal on one of my birch boxes or one of my every, or one of my, when one of my stylists sent me something, I taught you the little trick of how you get your pony pulled up and then you can get a messy bun if you have really long hair with bobby pins because nobody ever tells you the little tricks. See, they don't want to tell you the little tricks. So I shared a little trick. Let me turn my phone off so I'm not to be distracted. So as I stood there, I saw the perfect bun. The perfect bun. So 
So we're going to sample the perfect bun. Now, I don't know if you all want me to get right into that right now. Yeah, 100%. Okay. I mean, we could do that, or I don't know if you want to talk, because this is going to be a minute, I'm just going to say. No, you're fine. I want to know how to make a perfect bun, but I feel like you got to scoot your chair down a little, because we can't see the top of your hair. Please hold. Okay. How far do you want me to go? Um, I'll tell you. Um, yeah, sure, that works. Too far? Yeah. Right there. Is that better? Yeah, I can see it. Let's see what it has. I just feel like it's too low. Is that good? Well, yeah, normally. <laughs> I just thought like over here on the normal. replay. It's like the delay on the screen, so that's why I'm laughing. That's perfect height right there. Me too. Okay, okay, okay. So here we go. Now, Joe, let me get some scissors. Um, here we go. I'm dying to see this. Oh, we forgot to put one thing on here. We forgot to put snap or strong mail. Oh, yeah. Forgot. Listen, I, we had so many topics going. It was a little rough to keep everything. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let me just bring it in for you all so you can see this. This is for brunettes. Now, this looks black to me. I feel like that's good. Oh, yes, it's bendy. Okay. When do you put it on, yeah. Megan? What? I was saying hi to Megan. Oh, Talk hey, Megan. And Amanda. Amanda, um, hi. The little boy was in the hospital. Oh, no. That's not good. Yeah. So, right, Amanda, we're sending you prayers, honey. That's not good at all. Okay. Why you're doing that. So, hang on one second. Okay. So, step one. Now, I brought my handy dandy mirror. Okay. So, I'm put this over here. Okay, out of the view. Okay. Hey, girl, hey. Okay, now step, oh, and it came with a rubber band and three bobby pins. Because apparently there's more than just a twist and a turn. Okay. So it yep. says the first sorry. thing you, I'm sorry. what? It is Amanda. Amanda, we're keeping your little boy in prayer. You guys in prayer. Just let us know if you need anything. Ooh, okay. look at my um, arm. Look at that um, muscle. Look at my arm. Look at that muscles. Amanda, Good. can you um, message me your address? Who? I was telling Amanda. She's on. So the first thing I'm going to do is says, put your hair in a ponytail. So I'm putting my hair in a ponytail. Now that's done. That's step one. Now that was not intentional. Okay, so I put it in a higher ponytail because we want the messy bun to sit on the top of our head. Okay. Step one done. How did I do? Check, Johanna. Uh, I can't see the top of your head. Um, did you put your chair back up? No. Oh, maybe you just sat up. <laughs> I can't yeah. see okay, now I can see it. Okay, nice. Step one. Okay. Now, step two is to take and pull the ponytail through the slit. There is a slit. In there. That looks so inappropriate and so many ways. So there's a slit in the ponytail. So you put your ponytail through the slit of the perfect bun, leaving the ends of the pony out. So please hold, because I got a lot of hair, so this is going to take a minute. Ooh, I got to spread that thing to get it to fit. Okay, so it looks like it's at the end. Okay, so now I take it back to the end. And you roll it. And then, it, well, my hair's a little shorter in one spot. Okay, so then it looks like, okay, so then you roll the perfect yeah, with the one. Like that. Okay, but I have to grab all my hair. I have to grab all my hair because now it's... Quick. Redo it real what? quick. Redo it real quick. Uh-uh. Redo it. Oh, my God. What? Stop. Ah. Okay. You just zip it. 
Okay, so then twist the ends of the perfect bun around your pony elastic and spread the hair out to create a perfect bun. Ooh. I think you just have to redo your hair. Well, I mean, I feel like it's a good perfect bun. No? Yeah, what's sticking up in the middle? You got a campfire going on there? <laughs> Or is that just the extra whispers? So, okay. So, not as easy as it looks when your hair is not all one length. So, what is the trick? So, she just makes it look super easy on here. So, you take it. Okay, we got to spread there. Are you at the shortest length of your hair? No. I watched YouTube videos on this sucker. Okay, so I should be the shortest thing. Well, it doesn't say that in the instructions, Johanna. But YouTube. Okay, and then which way do I flip it? Do I flip? Which way do I flip it? That that doesn't you want to tell. Tuck the hair. So you're like. Tuck. No, 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 no. According to this, it says you wanna you wanna roll the perfect bun up toward the base of your pony. Yeah, so tuck, up. Look, tucking those little wispies under. Oh, you're right. Not bad. <laughs> I'm telling you, I get sucked into like YouTube holes where I'm like, mm, that was interesting. Okay, so hang on a second. Hey, my hair's too short in some spots. How do you get this all to be like this perfect bun? Go to your shorts layer stop. Oh, you missed it. I'm watching. Oh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> you can use that to wrap around the outside, though. So, yeah, I mean, it looks like this time I have a pony sticking through. So, I have a pony through the perfect bun. I actually think you can, yeah, exactly. And Bobby pin that sucker up. Oh, maybe that's what, but my, okay, but here's the thing. Now, if I were to show you the back of this, you can see that I didn't do good because I can feel like the foam is sticking out. So you didn't spread it? I didn't spread it. This is not as easy as it looks, you all. So the perfect bun, try three. The third time is a charm. So let me whip my hair up a little higher. Okay. So whipped up a little higher. Let me get this here. Okay. So we're going to stick this in here a little bit. Oh, hi, people. My hair. Hello, hello, Mandy. Hello, Rena. Hello, Debbie. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Mike. Okay, so I'm now. Dying. You're making me want to fix my hair. Okay, so look. Oh, I think I got this one. Joe, oh, yes, this is a. Yes, yes. Third time. Yes. You guys, the third time is going to be a charm. Now I gotta spread it out. Gotta get this around my perfect thing. I gotta spread my hair out. Gotta spread my hair around that perfect thing, but it's not laying flat, so my hair's not going in a perfect bun. <laughs> that was the worst one. Oh, uh, it's not easy having long hair, and this is not going perfectly. I feel like you should try it over the week, like once a day for a week, and see how it goes. Maybe after surgery. How do we feel about the third time? How does it not want to just sit around the, the rubber band? Hi, puppy. What do you think of Mommy's crazy bun hair? It looks so like that? Oh, that's a, oh, he likes it. That's a, that's a kiss. So... Perfect bun. It kind of is a perfect bun. So this reminds me of Punjab from Annie. Yeah, it does. You remember that movie? No, no, no. You never seen the movie Annie? Yeah, when I was like little, little. So we were hoping that we can get Bentley to be part of our show. We were hoping that we could get him a chair so he would just come up and sit. Are you giving me a bath? Why, thank you. Apparently, I'm getting a bath tonight for the show. 
You want to come up and say hello to everyone? Come on. Come on up and say hello to everyone. So Everybody, meet Bentley, the boxer. Look at, he looks all scared, Joe. All right, no. well, that's no. what we have is the perfect bun. What's going to be the next topic, Joe? Bentley, where's your duck? Where's your duck? Oh my. He's where's like, I don't know. Let me just ask him again, Joe. Where's your duck, Bentley? Bentley, where's your duck? duck? Where's your duck? Go get your duck. Normally he okay. just gets it. Can you guys say hi? We want to say hi to everybody. Okay, everyone, that's Bentley. You're the star of the show, little guy. Yeah. He's like, yep. I'm the disaster yeah, master. So many right? monitors. I'm just like, oh my god. Panic attack. Yeah, here. well, you know, whatever. Okay. It's nice, but it moves a lot. Well, Kathy, I think what's supposed to happen is. Once I get this perfect bun in, I believe I'm supposed to take the bobby pin. And pin it down. And then you just kind of pin it into place. Yep. Yep. And so it comes with free, free bobby pins. So you don't even have to buy bobby pins and or a rubber band. You just buy the Remington perfect bun. There we go. Hey, Joe. So There's the perfect bun. So funny. Well, it's not as easy as it looks. So oh, if no. anybody else has tried this, please tell me because it says it's a simple wrap for flawless bun in seconds. I'm telling you, I watched YouTube video tutorials on that because I thought about getting it and I was like, mm. In seconds. I did not get it in seconds. Oh, and my bobby pin is not holding, so... The bobby head pin is sticking out. So I don't know, Kath, but I'm just saying. All right, Megan and Amanda, I got you, Sharon. All right, what are we talking about next? Hi, Wesley. Kathy Noonan, this is an adult show. We might cuss a little bit, but we'll be aware that Wesley's watching, though. So thank you for telling me Wesley's watching. Bentley, Wesley says hi. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> Okay, so let me get Amanda on there. Oh, yeah, Amanda's son is teething. I remember talking to her about oh, that. God, something else. You could have a sock in your head and look great. Why, thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that. Okay, and then let's see Megan shared. Okay, what would you like to talk about? You pick. I'm good. I'll let you steer the ship. Ooh, I like steering. I know. I like steering. Okay, so how about, I really want to get into these vampire facials. This is your topic. God. Well, it's not easy. Let's go from hair to facial. so upset. You love the Kardashians. I do love the Kardashians. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. I do love the Kardashians. I love their fashion style. I love the way they do their makeup. I love how successful they are. And everybody says, oh, well, it's just because Kim did a sex video. Yes, you're right. That was so long ago. Like, that's like saying, well, this one time at band camp, she had a solo. And now she has a band. But it was because of that one solo at band camp. No, they all have done other things to make them career oriented. And they work very hard to have the careers that they have. They've worked very hard. This bouffant is very extra tonight. I'm so extra. I don't even know what's going on, but I'm very proud of the Kardashians, and I will stand up for them because they are hardworking, and people don't see that. They work very hard behind the scenes. Yeah. So um, uh, they had last weekend, Courtney did a vampire facial. And so what they do is they take blood out of your body, they run it through a process and then they put it back on your face. Do you remember those wheel needles we had where you go across your face with the needles? Like the microderm blading? Yeah, like the needles that were like on a roller and you yeah. go across your face. They put the blood on your face and then they roll the needles across your face to put the blood okay. back in your face. Yeah. So they take blood out and they do something with like mixing it with some type of what is it something with your skin and then they put it back on your face and i don't understand what the purpose of it is is it supposed to do what it's supposed to like hydrate 
hydrate, reinvigorate, tighten the skin. The microderm roller is good for wrinkles, anti-aging, stimulating um, the skin. Because um, basically, every time you use those microderm needles on your face, you are causing trauma to your face and it's stimulating new growth. Okay. Yeah. So the oh. big to do now is I think it was Vegas we saw, like didn't keep a really clean shop. And now people have to get tested for HIV and other. The donut. Yeah. Was that article that you sent me? Mm -hmm. I thought, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And they said they have to watch for like what HIV and something too. Um, yeah. Okay, if you went and got a vampire facial, um, yeah, it might be a little bit more serious than vampire facials. That's just a really weird name, vampire facial, and by the way. When you get tested for HIV, it's like you're tested for years, like 10 years. Yeah. It's not like... I remember when it was like an epidemic and it was like in the 90s, like when it was so popular. Not Not popular, like... Everybody was trying to get it, but it was like when we were first hearing about it and it was so prevalent, maybe is a better word, not popular. HIV is what I'm talking about, not vampire facials. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, there is a thing. It's called a bunk chaser where actually people go and chase and try to sleep with people who have, who are um, HIV positive to catch it. Yeah. Well, so, hey, so my hairdresser in New York, was a gay man and um he literally was dating a guy and the guy was from england and the guy was here without green card and he was in love with my mat my maddie my hairdresser matt and he was trying to get it so that he would stay i don't think you're trying to contract AIDS like yeah and then it kind of scared me a little bit because then you like it was so unknown and i'm sure that there was more information that was known prior to getting out to the public but i remember being scared then when i'd go to get my hair cut i'm like what if he nips his finger and he touches blood on me will i get it like you know because then it was like so unknown and then there was all of these like stories and so you didn't really know. And so it's One of my so best friends in Texas um, is HIV positive and he's awesome. And he has been, I don't want to say the word's not remission, but it's definitely been his disease has been controlled and maintained. But what's interesting when he met his partner, his partner is um, a famous doctor who worked with the uh, re resistance in Mexico. When he met his partner, they were both negative. And during the relationship, he ended up becoming positive. And so, yes, exactly what you're thinking. How does that happen? Exactly how you're thinking it happened. Yep. One stepped out on the relationship. Oh, shoot. And so now how do you live with a partner who is positive? You know, and you do work in AIDS research on top of that. Like very, they're probably, yeah, they're probably like some of our best friends and I love them, but it's very interesting relationship and the things that work for them, you know what I mean? Might not work for other people, but I think it's definitely, you have to be aware, like those diseases aren't gone, you know? Yeah aware and what you're doing like I would not be going to I love my nail salon I would not be going to my nail salon what this place look like and getting a vampire facial right like saying that the only place you can get it is bougie salons but like Courtney was going to a doctor to get it you know it wasn't the nail yeah. salon that's crazy. I'm just reading Amanda's comment right now that she said that her son. That's what I was talking about. Slide at school. Yeah. So I think that brings us to our next topic. It's not on our list of things to do. And that's why I was saying, Amanda, send me your um, address. Um, we're going to start something new. 
Oh, let me type it up in the little jibber jab up here. Yes. Um, what are we calling this? Strong mail. Yeah. So oh, and we are excited about this, Joe. I know. Okay, so let me, before we get into it, just remind everybody about our giveaway. We have a giveaway tonight. We have designer soap and a water bottle that's vacuum. Water bottle keeps things hot for 24 hours, or keeps things cold for 24 hours, hot for 12, and it's PVA free. So remember to share, and you will get an entry into winning. Designer okay. soap, you guys. Designer soap. Oh, <laughs> I should have bought two of these to send one of these out tonight. I'm dying. I've always wanted one, and I'm like, I just can't. I'm going to order the other one from Walmart.com Walmart and see if that one works better. Okay. Because this one, the perfect bun is not a simple wrap and flawless in but you know what do you remember my flawless my flawless thing that i tried like this my flawless lip buzzer do you remember that yeah and you loved it i just used it the other day i still i do love that i tell yeah, i use it all the time they look at it they're like oh i don't know and i'm like listen my girlfriend reviewed it and she loves it but i love it yeah but i'm just a strong nail I will, but I was going to say, Joe, like, apparently I like the word flawless. So flawless strong mail. Designer and exclusive. That's what you should have, like, tattooed. Designer and exclusive. I do like designer, and I like exclusive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those two things mean a lot to me. Okay, so do you want to talk about strong mail? Oh, idea, you take so the lead. I'll let you go. No, no, you. I've done most of the talking. You go. I'm going to talk later. You talk about it because you know what you want. To yeah, because she's got like gangster rap stuff. Like, you know, when there's like rap stuff, you know who brought it. And when there's beauty stuff, you know who brought it. You kind of see a theme here. You kind of know who brought what. So, Listen, I got a little bit of like Tupac and a lot of meditation going on. Mm -hmm. And I've got a whole bunch of doom. I got a whole bunch of I Dream of Jeannie with the perfect bun from Walmart. So, here's the deal. Amanda, you are the first perfect candidate. So, we're going to drop, unless one of you want to drop the email in there for us because you love us so much, strongnotfiltered at gmail.com. Can't get it wrong. Strongnotfiltered at gmail.com. So, Joe and I have been working and collaborating with some of our friends. And we have friends that love to give to our show because they see what we're doing and they know that we love giving back. They know that we love to keep it real and we like to have those closed door conversations very openly. And so for many, they're like, oh, that's so taboo, how dare you? And Joe and I are like, oh, come on, bring a lid. Come on, come on, come a little closer. We got things to talk about today. Tell because me the tea. Mm, have a little tea, have a little vodka. Oh, if this were vodka. Oh, if this were only vodka. But it's not. But that's what makes us different. We believe in you even when we don't know you. And so we have decided to partner with our partners, and they have decided with us, if you want to send an email <clears throat> to us because you know someone is hurting or they've had a bad week or they've had something going on, we know someone right now that has lost three individuals in their life due to death. And um, they could probably use a pick me up in the mail, whether it be a little gift card, some little flowers, some little this, some little that, something. So depending on the person, the reason, we're gonna work with our partners and we're gonna send them a little something via Strong Not Filtered. And so if that's something that you can think of, you know, someone who's had a bad run of luck or they just need a little pick me up, a little snail mail love, strong mail to make them feel good, then go ahead and email strongnatfiltered at gmail.com. Tell us a little bit of the story. And we're going to go ahead and select a couple people per month, work with our partners, and then have them send stuff. And we don't know exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be on an individual basis because maybe someone needs a bottle of wine from one of our partners. Maybe someone needs a hat. So maybe someone needs coffee. 
Maybe someone needs flowers. Maybe someone needs a, a t-shirt like this one that says, you are enough. Own it. Maybe they need like stuff for their kids because their kids are in the hospital, you know? Right. Or they need school supplies or they need, you know, stuff. Like we know someone who needed to have some feminine products. So, you know, maybe we'll send her some shipments of Lola. So we're working with some people to work with us. And so if you guys know of somebody, please feel free to send us and don't send us a message on Facebook. These will be honored through our email because that is monitored with us. And then we can share that email with our partners. So we are excited to share that. So, yep. So we did one this week, you know, because we talked about it last week. And but our first, I would say, I don't want to say real one, but our first official one will be you know, Amanda. So we're super excited. Make sure you get back with us. I need to do another drawing really quick. Okay. And I just want to also say this too quick too, Joe. It doesn't have to be something that we talk about on our show. It can be completely anonymous too. So just so you know, it doesn't have to be something that we even talk about. Just somebody who needs to pick me up and it doesn't even need to be a card. We can send them a, just a gift in the mail and just say you're loved and let it be like, Holy crap, who sent me this card? How do they know I needed to pick me up? So, you know, we believe in snail mail and we believe in empowering people and lifting them up. And so this is just another olive branch that we have for you all. Yep. So a few weeks ago, I tagged Lynette in it. Um, this is our second giveaway. I don't know if you read the picture that you approved on your FaceTime, on your timeline. <laughs> um, we did a survey looking over logos and what logo you thought would work. Um, my friend, I love arty people and still unsure, which is, you know, not unusual for an artist. Of what that was a huge eye roll. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love arty people. No, I love my arty friends, but oh my gosh. So um, I have all the names in here of everyone who took the survey. There was 23 people. Um, I even did the people who liked and didn't comment that they were done because I could see there was a total of 23 people and that ended up adding up to it. So without further ado. My name's in there. I didn't put your name in there. What? All right. I took the, I took the poll. Okay. No, don't put it in there. Don't put it in there because I have this tendency of winning lately. And then that would probably not be fair to everybody else. And that's okay. I would, I would, I would want to give it away. Already enough. Like you're already a winner. I am enough. I am enough. And I'm owning it. So I would give it away. I would, I would pay it forward. So don't put my name in there. Okay. All right. So me and my mud pie mug. So let's see who. Wants. Nobody likes the shady beach. She's on right now. You want to read it for me? Try T. Reisler? Reisler? Keister? No. Trinity Keister? It's my Keister? No. I see Keister. I can't read what it was. I, I honestly can't see what it says. Oh, hi, oh, puppy. Are you in return for some? Oh, you, you, oh, Belly, that's not your Keister. No, you're not the winner. No, you didn't win. No, you didn't win. No, you didn't win. He thought he won. He thought he won. He thought he was the winner. Yeah. It's you. Um, so tell us how to pronounce your name. And because I feel like. Trin. Oh, Trin. Okay. Trine. Trine. To G Phillips. Try. Got that. Try. In. My hair looks so greasy on film. I used Amika products. Sorry, making it about me for a second. My bad. Sorry. Please. No, um, tell us how to say your name. I feel like, I, okay, like Ninja with a TR. So say it. Linda. Trinja? Trinja. I have no phonics skills. Like, Trinja. Trinja. Did I get it right, Trinja? Give me lots of loves and claps and hands up in the air, Trinja. Ninja Trinja. Ninja with a trin. Trinja. I'm glad Trinja. you have lots of skills. At least one of us does. I have to pee really bad. Yes, I got it. High five, friend. 
way to go. This is my favorite emoji. I'm like, yes. Yes, you totally get it. <laughs> I love it. My fingers are weird. They don't, they kind of spread. Okay. So where are we at? We had a lot so, going on. Okay. Yep. So, so send your address, Trinja. Congratulations. That's so awesome. Excuse so, me. No time, doggies. Okay. So with the hurricane going on, a lot of interesting stuff happened. There's actually um, weed that washed up on shore in Florida. Are you like okay. death staring somewhere? I'm like, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I have three monitors to work with. This is a production on my end. You're welcome. I have two. I'm not that fancy. Okay, but can I just say something? I was uploading YouTube stuff earlier because, you know, we've started a YouTube page. We're getting to that. And I was looking when we decided, when we first decided we were going to do Strong Not Filtered and like where we've come from from then, like it was like no lighting or anything. It was just us with our little cell phones and we're like, let's just have a girls chat. And now we're like, now we need lighting. And Joe sends me this like $700 camera and lighting and boom. So I'm like, hey, I have all that stuff. Like it's not that deep yet. Not till it's Ellen calls man. again and says, Listen, girl. If we can run away with like five. Okay, so here was the deal. Did you see? I don't know if I sent you the link. So because of the hurricane, they said like hundreds of pounds of marijuana were washing up on the Atlantic coast of Florida. Hundreds of pounds. And people were like taking selfies with them, like hugging it and like running off with it when the police come. And then the police are tracking them down and like knocking on the door and saying, we need to get that marijuana back. And they were like, oh, that's great. I was waiting for you to come get it. Like, and then being charged. Like, wait, where did it come from? <laughs> well, there are a lot of smuggling lanes in florida either they come from the sea or the air but actually like the air patterns are tracked by the government so if you find a certain air spaces they know they're drug traffickers and the same with um boats like it's not uncommon i lived in naples florida and a lot of times they were where haven't you lived i feel like every time we have a show you're like Oh, I lived there, and I lived here, and I was there. Because you guys got to remember, Joe and I don't know each other. A few weeks ago, she told me she was homeless, and I couldn't keep my shit together and started bawling. I was just like, <laughs> it was an ugly cry, too, and I held it together for the ugly cry until I got off, and I called her, and I was like, you were homeless? Like, what? So, yeah. okay, back to homeless. I watched a movie about that, too, with... The guy who like was a pilot and he used to fly the stuff back and yeah. forth. I can't think of the name of the show. It Tom Cruise. So it was Tom Cruise who just did it. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I mean that's legit. Like that is true. When I lived in Naples, like they would drop it from the sky, and apparently a ton of people went to prison for like thirty years. And when I moved down, there was a huge controversy that they were now going to be released, and would they continue the same behavior down in the Everglades? So it's not uncommon, and even the police chief said it, like, for marijuana to wash up on the beach. American Made with Tom Cruise. I had to look up the movie. You're so, so with the hurricane, you think a boat got turned over, and then the weed then? I don't know, but can you imagine saying, I flew it and I missed my mark and I'm sorry you're out seven million dollars today, Bob. And they're like, oops, you're sorry. We're you're out your wife and your two kids and your cat and your dog. Because exactly. I watched that and movie cousin, American. Your seventh movie. cousin. Like it's not just them, it's like your seventh cousin. Yeah, like it's legit. Like I watched that movie American Made and they don't play. Like they don't they don't play. It's not it's is not like that. Nope. No. So mm -hmm. it's not uncommon. And um, what would you do if you found hundreds of pounds of marijuana? Would you take a candid selfie and then call the police? Or would you? Yes. Yes, I would take a selfie. I'd be like, look what I found. And I would totally be calling the police. Being like, I'd be live and be like, okay, and here come the police. Here they come. <laughs> I totally would. 
I totally would because then Ellen would call me and then I would be on her show because she'd be like, why didn't you keep it? And I would say, well, because I don't smoke it. I've never smoked it and I've I never done it. shit in Florida. <laughs> so yeah, I would turn it in because I'm the good girl. Like I follow the rules. So yeah, that's what I would do. I would turn it in. Anybody else would be like, ooh, you could have sold it and made money. Nope, not interested. Because yeah. the first time I'd be like, ooh, I got weed. <laughs> I found it on the beach. You want to buy some? And I'd be talking to a cop. My brother is a cop. Christ. He would call me out and lock me up, too. Yeah. Like, it's not like that. He wouldn't be like, girl, I got you. He'll be like, mm-mm, do the crime, do the time. <laughs> yeah. In Florida, no joke, it's a commonwealth state, so they don't have parole there. You're going to do 80% of your time. Okay. Yeah. Well, so uh, those people who picked up the weed have to go to jail now? Well, it depends what happens in a court of law. Well, they found it. Yeah, possession's nine-tenths of the law, but it's still illegal unless they have a medical marijuana, medical marijuana card. No, but if you got 10 or 17 or 35 pounds of pot, don't put it on social media because they can track it right to your house. Mark Zuckerberg's like, yep, lives at 317 Smith Street. Okay, right here's his address. address. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And he's online right now. He's live going, smoking and making a blunt or whatever joint they are, whatever you call them. What? You make me laugh so hard. Okay, okay but I don't know. You're okay. So, so let's go on to the review of Hemp Works. So we've been talking a lot about CBD oil. We've reviewed some in the past. Um. This is my first full purchase. I'm very particular with products. Like, can you see it in the thing? I can't tell. Go to the other way towards your kitchen. There you go. Isn't it weird that I know your kitchen and your new house? I love it. <laughs> Good. So, um, it's Hempworks. Um, they are a seed to table company, meaning um, they have complete control of their farms. They're in Kentucky. And they harvest everything there and produce it there. Oh, sorry. Um, the main headquarters is in Nevada. Um, they have several other products. I chose one that was THC free, meaning doesn't even have a trace amount. Like, did you know the legal trace amount is like 0.03% in a product? I think I'm passing my kidney stone. Oh, no. What's THC? That's the stuff that gets you high in pot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. I'm Googling it. You're so funny. Um, yeah, it's the thing that gets you high, but they have a bunch of different products, and they use a full spectrum. A lot of these um, CBD companies get their products out of other countries, and there's no quality control over what they're getting. Um, this is FDA registered and regulated, the company. Um, so this one is for relief of joint pain, and I use it for my arthritis, and I felt results immediately compared to my, my medications that I have to use, which I was really surprised. Um, but they have, um, I thought you would think this is interesting. They use, um, what is it? They have CBD anti-aging cream. Um <laughs> They have a retinol and collagen cream. Retinol. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like retinol. Retinol and collagen retinol. cream. Yeah, retinol and collagen is so good. Yeah, and it also has like apple infused um, with apples as well. Um, there's a lot of anti-aging stuff with apples going on right now too, people are talking about. Um, and then the new stuff they just came out with is for socks. And your husband posted, sent you a link about a study from Cornell. And so. You need, you need to send that to my, my husband about the dogs because he has the dogs on CBD oil. And I don't even know what kind um, because he does all of the research on the CBD oils. You know how I kind of feel about CBD oils. Excuse me. So I'm not really. Um, it's not my forte, but I am doing the scientific, but I'm looking at the scientific facts of the CBD oil or THC. 
yeah so right here are some of the things that cbd or cbd can help with um which are huge i think well we can't all i see is someone with sunglasses bring it down bring it down there you go you'll have to take a picture and put that in the comments i think that'd probably yeah. be better because it's harder to see functions yeah. for healthy skin all i see is a, a weed plant did you scope up a weed plant by florida perhaps i know something you want to share with us oh yeah no but they have a bunch of different products so i definitely will and i don't know i was really I, we've been approached by a bunch of companies like cbd companies to try stuff and some of it we've tried, some of it we've said no thank you to because of the risk of drug testing. You know, as a collegiate coach, I don't ever want to sit in an NCA room and be violated for popping positive on a drug test. But right. Yeah. And you have to be careful with that, right? Really careful because I'm in recovery. So that's the other thing. Like, I want to use CBD, but I have to use stuff that's going to be with inside the recovery program, which is no drugs and alcohol and mind altering substances. So I really like this. It has a little bit of a peppermint smell to it. It's a cream. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. It's a cream. You can tell I haven't used it at all and I got it a week ago. I would say it lasts for about two hours. Nice. Yeah. What else we got on here, girl? Okay, you're going to talk about New York Fashion Week fight, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Oh, my gosh. I sent you the link. Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched it. And I was like, who's this and who? And then somebody's in the red dress and being like, now when you go with my daughter? Now when you go with my daughter? And I was like, wait, who's yelling at who? Like, they're about ready to have a smackdown. So, yeah, I was all like, who's up in the grill? Then I listened to the, the audio, Queen B. Vision. And then I was like, oh, shoot. Now I know who's smacking who. And then I screenshotted all of their social media stuff. And I was like, oh, it's game on. Went after the daughter. Yeah. Is that not crazy? Like, yeah. Well, Nicki Minaj has been around for mm, forever. Um, Jeffree Star, who is a makeup artist, I think I've been talking to you a lot about him, was actually one of the first ones to introduce Nicki Minaj um, and did a track with her. I'm going to say early 2000s. Is that a tick? What is that? It's a, no, I Mr. Miyagi. So a mosquito. So you're going to do a vampire facial with that? No, because he might have the Zika virus or whatever it is. <laughs> True that. So Nikki's been around forever and hey, Drusilla. And, um, Cardi's kind of not new to the scene, but she's new, I want to say, to the professional scene. And they've just been taking jabs left, right, and center on each other. And it's New York Fashion Week. Like, this isn't, um, I was about to say something, and then I stopped. This isn't like a bar. This is New York Fashion Week. This is a gala. They are in $100,000 dresses with $100,000 jewelry, like, spent a ton of money on makeup and hair. Like Harry Winston diamond necklaces. I was like, is that a Harry Winston? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. no joke. And so Nikki charges up like they're um, at a club and is about to snatch somebody's wig and uh, tries to go after Nikki and takes her shoe off and throws her shoe at her while she's trying to punch her in like a thousand dollar gown. Yeah. And then starts talking smack about her daughter and like a water bottle or something too, that did they say? Yeah, like try to throw water at her in a shoe. And it's all over, um, allegedly, Nikki talked about Cardi B's daughter culture. Um, and then Nikki has her own radio station or podcast or something, and she went off about Cardi B. Oh, yeah, no, I heard that. I was like, okay, girl, you tell us how you feel. She's like, get this B some effing counseling. And I was like, oh, Cardi B always throws her shoes. It might be a cultural thing too, because have you watched The Voice? Um, what's her face? I love her typo. That just made me laugh. Because Cardio. That's what I would do. Okay, but what's her face is always um, who is the girl that's on there? Um, Jennifer Hudson. She's always throwing her shoes. So sometimes it's like 
they, that's what they do is they throw their shoe, but usually it's as a compliment, not as like a, I'm going to take you out. So no, that's kind of no crazy. Thing. When you're trying to take a red shoe to somebody's head. Yeah. Don't mess with somebody's kids. You okay, just so can't go there. No. So the other thing is Lynette got a, a new pair of Louis Vuitton shoes a while ago for her, for a wedding. And I remember she got them and she was like, why did they call them bloody shoes? Wait, what did I do? You're like, why did they call them bloody shoes? Oh, wait, did you say Louis Vuitton or Louis By Vuitton? Christian, Christian. Christian. I was like, wait, I don't have any Louis Vuitton shoes. I was like, wait, as soon as you said Louis Vuitton, did you see me? I was like, wait, wait, you got my attention. What? No, I don't. I have, yeah, oh, yeah. I have some, I have two pairs of high heels, but I didn't understand why they called them bloody shoes. So do tell. What color is the bottom of the shoe? They're red for a while, and then they wear off. What and then you have to have red. red. So. Yeah. But I wouldn't call mine bloody. I would call them sexy. Well, yeah. Different cultures, different things. And I would never throw those shoes. Never, because I know what I paid for those shoes. And I would never throw them, because if I did, I'd be like, oh, my gosh, those don't want those at the ground. Because I wore my beige ones to a wedding and I kind of stepped in between some rocks because we were outside and I did some damage on them. So I took them to the shoe guy and he did not fix them appropriately. So now I'm going to have to send them back to the store and they're going to have to undo his damage and try to fix it. Because he, he tried to fix the patent that. level. Yeah, well, he tried to fix the patent leather and it's like a pinky beige. And he tried to use beige. You should have stopped on the first spot instead of going to town on the whole shoe. Because where I stepped, I stepped. So I had the heels, and I stepped kind of in a rock, and it kind of, the rock kind of caught a little piece and kind of lifted a couple pieces up. There might have been alcohol involved. I might have been busy all weekend. That's when I was in New York. It was like a family reunion. I mean, every time I went, like, my little brother went to get me a drink at the bar, and he's like, I kind of need some vodka with some soda, a little splash of cranberry. And, oh, you need a Lynette? Like, they knew my drink. And my brother and my dad went to get a drink. He's like, oh, that's what we're at. That's, like, dad's like, you got your own drink at the bar. And I'm like, yeah. Be the bad. girl knew me. She follows me on Facebook. But she knew me. So she remembered my drink the very first time. So anytime somebody went to ask for something with two lemons and vodka and soda with a splat, it's a Lynette. Yep. Oh, my God. She knew. That is so funny. Yeah, those are some sexy. Oh, Drusilla, if you see my shoes, girl. I just walk around the house wearing them sometimes, cleaning, like vacuuming, like. Joe's like, what do you do? I'm like, vacuuming in my CBs. My CLBs. Sometimes I just am in pink pants and I take pictures and she's like, what you doing? I'm like, hmm. So one time this girl was being really shitty to me and she thought she knew what she was talking about and she came at me. And I was like, Joe, is this where you take some of your material things and you kind of go, click with the picture and be like, when the bitch gets an attitude, drop it like it's hot. Like, Yeah, literally. And sometimes you want to kind of be like Carly B and Nicki Minaj and be like, girl, you don't know me. You don't know anything about me. Like, where you think that you get to judge me, like, where were you for the last 40 right? some years while I was working for jobs to pay for those shoes? And you think that I just rolled off some bus and some – Bitch just bought me those shoes. No, I worked my ass hard for those shoes. Like, where do oh, people she dropped think that, it today? Yeah, where do people think that we don't work hard for our stuff? Stop. Yeah. Again, it's you amazing. are enough. Own it. And I am enough and I do own it. And I'm proud of who I am, what I have, and how I have it. But I'd be the first to give you those shoes because you needed them or wanted to borrow them. Exactly. That's the thing about me. You would. Right? I wish I was your size. Yeah, I would. I would get your would. pairs of jeans that you donated. Yeah, get in my circle, you'll never leave. Get in my circle. It's hard to get in my circle. You can be close. You can touch the edge. You can kind of be like looking in. But once you're in, you'll never leave. And I don't mean that for the material things because there's loyalty in that circle. And it, it's hard. It, once you lock arms with loyalty in our circle, right, Joe, it's just yeah. you just don't leave. 
because it's good juju. Okay, let's wrap it up because it's getting late. I didn't realize. I want to do something too oh, that's really cool. Back up the bus. What? We need to talk about YouTube. I know. We're going to do that. We can talk about YouTube. What's in the box that my friend Nikki sent me a couple of weeks ago? Okay. So I get this surprise package Hi. in the mail. She is the worst. The worst, like people send you stuff and it sits on your counter, and so you call and you're like, "Hey, girl, did you get that package? Oh yeah, I got that package. Well, open it up and tell me what you think." No, and then hangs up the phone, and so you call back a few days later. Hey, girl, did you check out that package? Uh, no. You're the worst. The bitch gets an attitude. Drop it like it's hot. Like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Maybe this makes me. Maybe, it's like you're a unicorn. We are locked. We are locked. Maybe it's this. But here we go. So my friend sent me this box. And so I wanted to share. Oh, yeah, we are locked, Lisa. Okay. So here's the. Th oh, oh, my God. It's a, just a, it's a plethora of goodies. Wait, it's over here. Oh, it's falling out. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I might have a small problem, and there might be a lot of packages, Joe. So that could be. Maybe I'm just opening a package a day. Oh, my gosh. There's so many goodies in here. I don't even know what to do. Oh, my gosh. It just keeps on coming. Okay, here we go. My eyeball just Okay, what if acting younger wasn't an act? What happened to my eyeball there? You got a little wing action. Yeah, because I got some falsies on today. So yeah. something just happened on that. So they're a little... Like yeah, you that's fine. You're all right. Okay, so it looks like she sent me some um, active hydration serum. My friend, she's like... Uh, I don't know, some big leader in this company, Rodan and Fields. So it looks like she sent me an acute care skin care for expression lines. I don't make any expressions when I talk, do I? Um, micro, microdermabrasion paste. Okay. Maybe I'm going to get a vampire facial. What is in here? Oh, my gosh. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. I don't even know what this is. This is just so fun. Are you, this is so funny. Joe makes faces, faces, she makes faces, paste. <gasps> oh my gosh, it is, you guys. I don't know what this is. It looks like a bottle. I don't know what we do with it. <laughs> He's laughing at me. You're like, oh my god! I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's kind of cute. It looks like a little mini bottle, like I can drink. Okay, and then night serum. And look at what it is. It is a micro exfoliating roller. Bring it. If I'm feeling good Thursday, good enough to come up here. I'm gonna do this live for you. Probably not you next Thursday. Medical grade. They said don't use anything that's not medical grade. It's from Rodan and Fields. A-P-M-D. Amped M-D. Probably medical grade. And I don't care. I'll try it anyways. I don't care. Eh, I'll try it. Just a little staph infection on the face. Don't mind me. Knock it off. <laughs> and then all of this purification tablets. So I'm going to read all of this stuff, you guys. And it looks like it is. A system for firmer looking skin. Watch out. Um, I'm going to lose. I can't. 20. How deep are the needles? What grade do they say they are? Um, why well, you got to be all technical? Um, don't know, don't know, and don't know. We'll, we'll do all of that later. Sorry, Stop being so technical. So interested. We'll talk about that later. I'll get the answers for you, Joe. But here's the thing. 
We're going to talk about YouTube, then we're going to do a giveaway. I just want to say this, you guys. I'm going to have surgery Tuesday. Thank you, Nikki. I love you. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. I love finding out. I love surprises. We love snail mail. Like, look at that. How exciting. You got to see my reaction live. So let's just talk about, let's talk about transparent Thursday for a moment. Okay. I Don't create YouTube. I won't. I won't because we're going to wrap it up. I just want to say this, you guys. I'm scared and nervous about Tuesday a little bit. You know, because it kind of makes me think like, okay, you live your whole life and you have all these different parts in you. And then the doctor's like, oh, you don't need this part. We're just going to take it. Oh, you don't need half of that part. We're just going to take that. It's just going to regenerate. Oh, and this other little stone, we're just going to keep it in there and it'll pass. So I feel like we need to do a party and like, you know, like 43 years of service. My gallbladder gave me and now they're going to just take it right out. 43 years of service my liver gave me and they're going to take a piece of it and say sayonara don't need you we're just going to regenerate and grow more back and that kidney stone we'll just let it pass like 43 years of service and I get to say goodbye to this and I don't know how I feel about it I don't know if we should have a proper burial I don't know if we should have a party I don't know if I should just eat some really yummy food because I've been eating such bland food to say goodbye I don't know if I'm secretly scared. I don't know how to feel about this. So if you've had a gallbladder taken out and some of your liver, share your stories because I need to know. Because now I'm getting like a little angry. Then do like a sayonara card to your like gallbladder and liver. You should. Can we name my gallbladder? Yeah, like Sally and Bob. What do you no, let's name it like Gil. You like Gil? Yeah. Gil and what? My liver? Yeah. Like, we're going to call it Lucifer because he's just gone. It's like the devil has been giving me a lot of pain. I don't know that Gil's a good name either. We should call him, like, I'm dying. I'm jumping. trying to cry. <laughs> yeah, because, like, how do you just not need parts of your body? They're like, oh, we'll just take it, like your tonsils. They are born with them, but oh, we can just do without them. Oh, your appendix. Oh, we can just do without them. But they can put you in such wretched pain, so just take them out. Like, okay, here we go, go on. See you in four weeks. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> like, cry loud. Just saying. Megan, you had your gallbladder out. It was laparoscopic surgery, but I was bloated and couldn't do any heavy lifting for six to eight weeks. My husband will die. Six to eight weeks? True story. Girl at my work, same thing. Oh my God, what am I going to do? My, I, I bought my mom, my stepmom is coming, a one-way ticket. She's like, Lynette, I'm going to have to go back in four or five days. I was like, no, no, girl, you got a one-way ticket. <laughs> Y'all know my husband, babe, I love you, but supporting? Woo, son. She had her taken out. She said, it's not that bad and feels so much better. The back pain? Okay, well, while we're all discussing that, and you can drop your comments and share and send me private messages, I'm, I'm trying to be brave, but then there's moments in my life where I'm just, like, scared to death. Okay, so we're going to talk about YouTube and our giveaway. You but. No, I, people are saying having my goal plot, I was just reminding people to share. That's all I was saying. Um... Having my gallbladder out was the best release ever. I just can't wait for you to eat something more than sweet potatoes. Yeah. I mean, it'll be interesting. You can't eat much lettuce anymore. It gives me the runs too much. Oh, this is the strong that filter. I have had diarrhea for a month straight. Let's be honest. The best diet ever. You've lost, like, you look great. Thank you. Thank you. I think I'm down to almost 17 pounds because I can't eat anything. And I'm lucky if I can drink anything. So, yeah, just keep it going. Are you going to have, like, a big glass of wine tonight? Girl, I'm, like, thinking if I'm going to say sayonara, I feel like Sunday night. Well, we're going to go out on the boat on Sunday. It's going to be an all-day thing. Although my husband can't go now because he's got, you know, we have rentals and blah, blah, blah. We have to replace the floor. Have fun with that. Not my issue. 
Not my monkey, not my service. <laughs> yeah, hire someone. But I'm going to go on the boat, and there's part of me that wants to have a drink, but then there's the other part of me that's like, I'm going to end up in the lake having to shit myself. So <laughs> like, <laughs> I go out on the lake, and we're all tied off for the fly-in. So, like, I'm going to have to drink water until I get it home. Floats, it doesn't even sink, so even if you go... <laughs> No, but this is diarrhea. So would it be like surface? Would it just be like floating? Oh my god, yeah. I'm like crying. Like you made me cry tonight, like laughing. Well, I'm just trying to be, I've been a not nice person for a month because I haven't felt well for a month. So if I've been nasty or not nice to you, I apologize. I haven't felt well. And what I realized when I don't feel well is I'm not very pleasant to be around apparently. So if that was you, I love you. I really do. But my fuse is short. So you must have been doing something really stupid. Because <laughs> I had zero patience and I told you. Um, God, see, this is the problem when I don't feel well. See, I'm just getting myself into more trouble. So, Joe, please take the wheel. Talk about our YouTube and talk about our giveaway. It's time for me oh to go. Oh, my God, the comments that are coming in, I'm, like, dying. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Look, don't forget to share. We're giving away water bottle and designer soap. Can you see it? I don't want to see it. Yep, know. we sure can. I'm like not in frame all day, so I gotta find a thing. All right, so we started a YouTube channel. Um, we did. We're gonna give away money. Yeah, like a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Who likes money? Like fifty dollars and hundred dollars. Like I'm just saying. I do. Yeah, I do too. So we're going to make a separate post up. Um, we're going to share it on our page. Um, it's going to be important that you subscribe and you hit the little bell for notifications. Um, so, and please re friend request both of us and you'll go into a drawing for, we're going to give money away. We haven't quite decided on how much, right? It's either going to be $50 or $100. Mm -hmm. So we're trying, so we could even do like at $250, we could do $25. You know, five hundred fifty that way. However, you want to do, or at a thousand fifty. I don't even know. Yeah, no, I'm I'm feeling pretty generous right now. I just got like mm, a couple checks I didn't know I was going to be getting from some deadbeat tenants that decided to finally have you know courts finally caught up with them. You know, you get in the list and then they finally get the checks, and so you get two checks and you're like. Couple grand, hey! Oh, swung that filter night. Let's give some stuff away. Hey, money I didn't think I'd ever see chasing people down. Sorry, I hope they're watching. Talking to you. <laughs> you were like in rare form tonight. Holy so money, money I will hunt so you so down. You can pay me. You can pay me a dollar a week if you owe me money. But if you owe me money, I will find you. You can quit your job, I will find you. You don't even know the mad skills I have. Anyways, I am in rare form. I think it's my anxiety. It's it's me being nervous. This is a whole new side of me. I'm enough. I'm owning it. You need some CBD. You can help with that. No, I'm not taking CBD. It scares me. I'm not interested. You know that. It's THC free. Amanda, I'm going to show you what money is. I'm going to show you what money is. Yes, this is what we're giving away. <laughs> right here. Send it to my house. I got some bills to pay. Not even going to lie. $100 bills right here. But we're going to send it in the form of a Visa gift card or American Express because we don't want the mailman to find this and put it in his pocket. So we're going to be sending that to you via something else. So, yeah, $100. We're going to do $100 if we get 500 subscribers. So tell your friends. Oh, my gosh, Amanda, she's great tonight. Like, I can't stop crying. <laughs> you love my mood? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Sorry. I, you know, this. But ask Joe, this is how I am usually. I am. Like, if you really knew. Sassy. I love it. Yeah. Like, if you really knew how funny I am, like, this is how funny I am all the time. I'm really sassy. I'm really salty like this all the time. I'm really sarcastic, actually. So it's really funny. So I usually kind of hold myself back because, you know, there's people that watch me and then they get all judgy and then they think, oh, Lynette, she's so. Yeah, I am so. I'm so extra. I'm so extra. I embrace the extra. I love it. Take lashes and everything. You're so funny. Okay, so um, we got a couple watchers. We can do the drawing tonight. 
We're going to get our YouTube channel up. Um, 500 subscribers, $100 bill. What? Totally can do it. So, and um, I'll put the post or Lynette will put it up with our channel. Um, it's out there. You can also search us on YouTube before we get that post up. It'll probably be tomorrow or maybe later tonight. See how we feel. Amanda, tell all your friends to subscribe to our page. That $100 bill will be yours. Yeah. I and the that. girl is holding the $100 bill. Just saying. Yeah. I can't. I'm so mad. I have to tell you this. When I was 13 months old, I fell through a flight of stairs at the babysitter's house. And I had to be rushed to the hospital. I had 200 x-rays taken up my head. And I ended up in a body cast for eight months. Um, because I had fractured my femur at 13 months old. So I definitely can relate. My mom definitely relate to what's going on in your life. So sending you lots of prayers and love. Yeah, and I have, just so y'all know too, this bag of goodies right here, and I was telling Joe right here, can you guys all see, is all of our giveaways coming up. Ooh, so we've got a black box. Can you just show us a peek? You want to see a peek? Yeah. Just show me what's in the black box. Which black box? There's like a bunch of them. Just show me one. One black box. I picked this one randomly. You know we love giving back. <gasps> oh, I love this. Oh, my God. You told me about this. I cannot wait. So it's the Giving Keys, a pay it forward company. Can I just leave it at that for right now? I want to see. So. Okay, you can you're show so, me later. You're so extra, but I can show you this one. Just let me cut the price tag off because these are expensive. These are our Christmas gifts this year for our custom, like our strong knot filter. So these are fun. The thing about the strong knot filtered gifts for Christmas and stuff, because I like to shop for Christmas early. Is the thing about the giving keys, you guys, is they tell a story. So it's all about embracing your word. And then you pay it forward to a person you feel that needs the message more than you. And then they employ people that are transitioning out of homelessness. And so the one that I just happened to pick was strong. Oh, my God. They're strong, not filtered, because we're both strong. And so you wear these keys, and then when somebody you run into you feel needs it more than you do, then you pay it forward. So these, we have tons of these. We have a ton of fun stuff in our bag. So that is our Strong Not Filtered bag. And so, again, sometimes we purchase gifts, and sometimes our affiliates and our partners gives us gifts and stuff like that. So those are some gifts that we have for our giveaways, which we're really excited about. So I'm really excited about those. So you guys want to make sure you're telling your girlfriends to watch and share because it's getting real as our anniversary comes. If you're going to be watching and paying attention, you're going to be ramping up. I don't know why our show went so extremely long tonight. Cause that's rare, but I'm rare I tonight. We started really late. I feel like we started I'm so rare. Hashtag so rare. So rare. Okay, we swear wow. we're going to away tonight. So we're going to get the YouTube stuff up. Amanda, you're going to get with me. <coughs> Those are some of the gifts. I'm going to try to figure out where the mail place is in Alfred, New York. I don't know. And my friend Anthony, you joined. I met Anthony, you, when I was at the bar. And we were friends for life. He's amazing. That's an entrepreneur. <laughs> I'm dying. Rachel. My hair is so rare. I love it. it looks the nice. perfect bun. You can have it for $4.97 too. Walmart. Get yours today. Comes with rubber band and three little pins. <laughs> Stop it, Joe. Okay, I can't see who shared. Can you see who shared? Um, I have Amanda, Megan Grant, and Drusilla. Oh, shit, girls. Game on. Game on. Do you have anybody else, or is that who you have? No, I can't see who shared. Okay, let me see. Um, Oh, my God. Let's see. Oh, Amanda shared. Okay, 
I can't see. Um, don't forget to share if you haven't shared. Um, Let me go to my page on my phone. See if I can see that way. Trinja, don't forget to share. You already won once. You can make it twice. You're going to write share in the comments so we know. Yeah, I just see the three. I can see that way. Yep. Okay. Oh, my oh, hair is. Rachel, Rachel just shared. Trinja okay. shared too. Okay. Trin. Oh, shit. T R Y. Drusilla just invited 10. You just dropped the letter D. Trinja. Who else just shared Trinja and who? Rachel Esther? Uh huh. And Drusilla invited 10 people. Shoot. Drusilla, by the way, I just saw a picture of you because you don't have any up on your timeline. I, I did too. And I was like, oh my God, putting a face to the name. I know. I was like, she's so pretty. I love yeah. it. Doing your kiddos. Yep. Okay. Let me see what we got here. Oh, Rachel I'm just invited four. Okay, hold on a second. Rachel invited four. Okay, I'm putting them in. Hang on. I got to cut me some more paper. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I was just, just about to do that. No need. I got you. Moroccan. Are we listening to Moroccan? Okay. Who shared four? Can you handle my hair? Um, Rachel. Oh, Haley wants to know what is this? Haley, we're strong, not filtered to girls who have never met in real life, but we're good friends. Um, we talk about this and that. We review products before you buy. So, as you, Lynette, tilt your head down a little. This is a perfect bun fiasco, so please don't purchase. I reviewed hemp work. You can go back and uh, check stuff out as we go. We definitely review before you buy, and we talk a little bit about this and that and hot topics. Everything's in our description. We're glad you joined us. Thank you for joining us. We are so happy to have you. We're just getting ready to do our giveaway. If you share, we have a giveaway. And this week we are giving away. Got three more to fill out. Sorry. Was there any more shares? Almost $40 value, guys. So we're going to be giving this. Woohoo! I know. I was watching a Strong Not Filter that I uploaded the other day. And one of our first giveaways is a $25 Starbucks card. And I was like, man, we are so generous. In the frame we really you. are generous. I can say that. Winner, winner, winner. Dress Congratulations. Congratulations, Drusilla. That is amazing. So you guys, make sure. That was a close one. There was a lot of sharing in there at the end. Yeah. Did you want me to? I'll type congrats, Drusilla, and I'll let you write up, write up, wrap up. Yeah. Like, so again, I just want to say make sure that you are um, going to the YouTube page and adding yourself. Remember, 500 is the goal. So we need your help. We can't achieve anything without all of you. And the more you guys help, the more we get sponsors, the bigger the sponsors, the more people, the better the prizes. So it just keeps on getting better and better and better and better and better. So think about that. 
because everything that we get, we turn right around and give right back to y'all. So we appreciate you all. So again, strong, not filtered. Next Thursday is going to be interesting. Don't really know what's going to happen. Johanna's going to be running the show. She's going to be running the production from her end, and she's like already like, what's up? I don't, I'm going live. We're not using be live. We already decided right now. Yeah. So, yeah, we don't. Yeah. Okay. Well, on that note, we are going to uh, talk to you guys next Thursday. And Drusilla, definitely find that video and tag me. We're looking forward to it. And we will talk to you guys next Thursday. Yep. Bye, guys. Yeah,